Number 70. Which of the following reactions will generate the highest yield of acetic acid? Let's go through each one. Let's start with answer choice D. So we have 2-methyl-2-butene. So this is 2-butene, counted from left to right. And we have a methyl on carbon-2. And let's react it with ozone, followed by hydrogen peroxide. Now, ozone is going to cleave the alkene. On one side, we have a secondary carbon, which will turn into a ketone. On the other side, we have a primary carbon. Now, notice we have, in the second step, we don't have dimethyl sulfide or water. We have hydrogen peroxide, which is a strong oxidizing agent. It's going to oxidize the primary carbon to a carboxylic acid. So in this reaction, we get, I'm going to redraw this. Let's say we're starting with one mole of the reactant. We're going to get one mole of acetone and one mole of ethanoic acid, also known as acetic acid. So right now, let's keep answer choice D because we do get acetic acid, but we need to compare with other answers to see if that's going to be indeed the highest yield of acetic acid. Now for answer choice C, we have pentene, specifically 2-pentene, and we're going to react it with ozone followed by zinc and acetic acid. Sometimes you could just write H plus here. This will have the same effect as reacting it with ozone and dimethyl sulfide. So we're going to cleave it here. And this reaction, it's a mild oxidizing process. It's just going to give us aldehydes and ketones. No carboxylic acids and no carbon dioxide molecules. So we're going to get one mole of propanol and one mole of ethanol. So this reaction does not give us ethanoic acid. Therefore, we could eliminate answer choice C. Now, moving to answer choice B, we have propyne. So we have an alkyne, a three-carbon alkyne. And we're going to react it with potassium permanganate with H3O+. So under acidic conditions, potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizing agent. So this is going to be fully oxidized. On the left, we have two carbons. So when you fully oxidize the primary carbon, you could take it to a carboxylic acid. On the right, we just have one carbon or a methyl carbon. A methyl carbon fully oxidized will go to CO2. So this gives us ethanoic acid, but we only have one mole of it. So right now we have a tie between answer choices B and D. Now moving on to answer choice A, we have 2-butyne, and we're going to react it with ozone followed by water. Notice that this is water and not hydrogen peroxide. So this is a mild oxidizing agent, but we're not starting with an alkene. We're starting with an alkyne. When you react ozone with an alkyne, you're going to get a carboxylic acid. And because we have two carbons on each side, we're going to get ethanoic acid on both sides. So from one mole of butyne, we're going to get two moles of ethanoic acid. Therefore, answer choice A is the correct answer. It's going to give us the highest yield of acetic acid. Now, this is for those of you who want access to the extended version of many of my organic chemistry videos that you see on YouTube. So you can access my Patreon membership at patreon.com slash math science tutor. Or you can check the links in the description section below. So let's click on this so organic chemistry posts. And these videos will come up. So this is what you'll get if you decide to join. So this is the full length video on resonance structures. The free video on YouTube might be like 20 minutes long. This is the full version on acids and bases. 
It's an hour and 20 minutes long. Functional groups, IUPAC nomenclature, Newman projections with the worksheet as well, chair confirmations. I'm working on this right now, so this is coming up soon. Stereochemistry. So the worksheet for that is completed. Here's the full video. Specific rotation, SN1, SN2, E1 reactions. This is the full video. And then there's a practice test coming up with 77 practice problems. The video for that is completed, but I haven't finished, I haven't started the worksheet yet, so that's coming up soon. And then we have alkene reactions, alkyne reactions, alcohol radical reactions, and the organic chemistry one final exam review. The video is completed, but I haven't gotten to the worksheet yet. So feel free to take a look at this when you get a chance, and let's get back to the video.